when I'm the one being juggled. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, please! You have to help me! What's wrong? My name is Belinda Bear. I'm a trapeze artist. And, well, it's my diamond tiara. A tiara? What's a tiara? A tiara is a small crown that girls wear on their heads. I wish I had a tiara. So do I. But didn't you say you had one? Yes. It was there last night when I went to bed, but when I got up this morning, it was gone. Hmm. There last night? Gone this morning? You know what I think? Mm hmm. I think we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug News. Go bug here at the Busy Town Fairgrounds, where the big news is that Huckle is on to a new three-ringed mystery. Tell us about it, Huckle. Well, Goldbug, all I can say at this time is that Belinda Bear's tiara is missing. And I'm going to find out where it is and solve the mystery of the vanishing tiara. A tiara? A small crown that girls wear in their heads. Wow! That is big news! Ready for it? Here it goes! <gasps> for important updates. Go bug out! The first thing we need to know, Belinda, is where your tiara was the last time you saw it. It was in my tent. I'll show you. This is my tent. Last night, I put my tiara in my jewelry box. Well, it's obviously not there now. I always wear my lucky tiara at every performance. Unless I get it back by showtime, I will not be able to do my trapeze act. Don't worry, we'll find it. Oh, thank you, Sally. Guess what, guys? Okay, <laughs> I guess your clothes are in the wash, so that's why you're wearing your long underwear. Not even close, Sally. These are our circus acrobat costumes. <laughs> I will now flip Pig Woat into the air. No, you won't, Pig Woat. I will flip you into the air. No, you won't. I will. Won't. Will. Won't. Will. Won't. I said will. How can they look exactly alike, but be so different? I think we should start at the lunch tent. Maybe someone saw something that will give us a clue. Will. Won't. Okay, 
Let's find out if anyone saw anything strange. Look, there's Belinda. And she's wearing her tiara. Where was it? Where was what? The tiara. In the dressing table jewelry box, where it always is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go. Wait a minute. We saw the jewelry box. It was empty, wasn't it? Completely empty. Only now, she has it on her head. So I guess there's no mystery to solve after all. <laughs> Did I just hear right? There is no mystery? That's right, Goldbug. It turns out the missing tiara isn't missing after all. The buzz in busy town is no mystery. Goldbug out. Hey, I smell hot buttered popcorn. Up, Periscope. Try to locate the popcorn. Bing, 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 bing. The popcorn has been located. Let's hurry up so we can eat it. Well, did you have any luck finding my tiara? What do you mean? We thought you found it. No, I didn't find it. I thought you said you were going to find it. Well, we did say that, but... Then please hurry. My show starts right after lunch. I have to go. I'm supposed to meet my sister Maxine for lunch in the food tent. I'm confused, Huckle. Why is Belinda asking us to find something she already found? And why is she going for lunch when we just saw her finish lunch? Beats me. But if Belinda is still looking for her tiara, I guess the mystery of the vanishing tiara isn't solved. The mystery is back on. Mystery on! <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? How can one clown be carrying both ends of a ladder? Hmm. Maybe it's not one clown. Maybe it's two clowns that look exactly the same. That makes sense. They look the same, but they're as different as night and day. It's sort of like Pig Will and Pig Won't. They look exactly the same, but they're not the same. I flip you first. Okay, right after I flip you. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh. No, after I flip you. <laughs> hey. Why is Belinda going that way? The food tent is the other way. And look, she's wearing her tiara. Sorry, Goldbug. Belinda has her tiara again, so it looks like the mystery is off again. <laughs> now which way did she go? Oh, should I become a periscope again, Huckle? No, Loli. I've got a better idea. Excuse me. Can you see which way Belinda Bear went from way up there? She went that away. Thanks, partner. Now she's that away, and she's not wearing her tiara anymore. Mystery's on again. Hold it. Now she's over there, and she's got her tiara on again. Huh? Mystery's off. <sighs> Now I flipped you! There's Belinda with no tiara. Mystery on! Aha! Uh -huh. And there she is, with her tiara. Mystery off! Boy, Belinda sure gets around fast. It's like she's in two places at the same time. But that's impossible, Sally. Still. There must be some explanation for why she has her tiara on one moment, and then she doesn't have it on the next. And why she's here one second, and over there the next. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, looks like Huckle is busy using his mystery-solving brain. Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. I think I know the answer to the mystery of the vanishing tiara. So let's hear it, Huckle. Well, Goldbug, here's what I think happened. First, we went to the lunch tent to look for clues, and we found Belinda wearing her missing tiara. Then we saw her again a minute later without it. We kept seeing her in different places with and without her tiara. 
Linda said she has a sister, Maxine, right? Well, I bet Maxine is her twin sister. I bet Maxine and Belinda look exactly the same and that we've been seeing both of them all day. Twins? Of course. Just like Pig Will and Pig Won't. And the two clowns. <laughs> and they both wear the same costume, so... So then they would both have a diamond tiara. Right, Sally. And if Belinda kept her tiara in one jewelry box... Then Maxine would keep hers in the other jewelry box. Right again. So I bet if we look in Maxine's jewelry box, we'll find... A tiara! <gasps> Which means Maxine must have taken Belinda's tiara by mistake. Very good, guys. Let's go see. Okay, Sally. Open the other jewelry box and let's take a look. Belinda's tiara. You were right, Huckle. Maxine must have taken Belinda's tiara by mistake. Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Belinda, Maxine! Look what we found in your jewelry box, Maxine. In my jewelry box? That means I must have taken Belinda's tiara by mistake. Whoops. Sorry, Belinda. That's okay, Maxine. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Hurry, Maxine. It's showtime. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the show. Oh, we will. We really will. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Loli? these situations. <laughs> the Postage Stamp Mystery. Why, thank you, Sally. I decorated it myself. It's a special birthday card for my nephew in Workville. And off it goes. I'm mailing a letter to my grandpa, but it's just in a plain envelope. Oh, let's have a look at the stamp on it. Ah, oh, one of the new flower stamps. I didn't know you were interested in stamps, Mr. Frumble. Oh, yes, I have a large collection of butterfly stamps. Each one is like a tiny work of art. Cool! I like butterflies! Of course, my eyes aren't what they used to be, so I need help from my magnifying glass to see them. Today, I added a special butterfly stamp to my stamp collection. It's very beautiful! Wow! Can we see it? Yeah, can we? Yes! Come back to my house and have a look! Do you always keep your lawnmower in the living room, Mr. Frumble? Oh, dear, no. <laughs> I usually keep it in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see now. Ah, here it is. My beautiful butterfly stamp. Um, Mr. Frumble, this stamp has a picture of a flower on it. <gasps> You're right. It is a flower stamp. Well, what do you know? Without the magnifying glass, it looks just like my special butterfly stamp. But if your special butterfly stamp isn't in the album, where is it? It's probably just on the desk, somewhere. Here are some stamps. Oh, they have flowers on them, too. Then maybe the butterfly stamp is under something on the desk. Nope, nothing under this stuff. Hmm. It looks to me like we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug News! Hmm? <laughs> ah, <laughs> I've been looking for that glove. Huh? Oh, Goldbug here reporting live for Busy Town Action News. What's this we hear about a mystery, Huckle? Mr. Frumble's butterfly stamp was here one moment and gone the next. 
But have no fear. We'll find it and solve the mystery of the missing stamp. Ready for it? Here it goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! Another baffling busy town mystery. Where did Mr. Frumble's butterfly stamp fly off to? Stay tuned for exciting news updates. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in busy town. Mr. Frumble, what did you do before you went to mail the birthday card? Let's see. I sat at my desk and had a snack of crackers and milk. Then I put my new butterfly stamp in my stamp album. At least I thought I did. And then what? And then uh, I put a stamp on the birthday card envelope and uh, uh, went out to mail it. So you put one stamp in your album and one on the envelope. Mm hmm Did you use your magnifying glass to check the stamps first? No, I didn't think I needed to. Ah, uh -huh. I think I know what happened. Mr. Frumble said that without his magnifying glass, the flower stamp looked like the butterfly stamp. Hey, that's right. So maybe you put your special butterfly stamp on the birthday card envelope, thinking it was a flower stamp. Yeah, by mistake, because you didn't use your magnifying glass. That would explain why the flower stamp ended up in my stamp album. But how do I get my butterfly stamp back? Don't worry. If the stamp is on the birthday card you mailed, all we have to do is go to the mailbox and get the card back. Come on! Uh-oh! There's a postal worker! And she, she's taking all the mail from the mailbox! Wait! Oh, dear! My butterfly stamp! It must be in that mail truck now! Let's go after it, team! Pig will and pig won't. What are you doing here? We just heard all about the missing stamp mystery on Goldbug's Busy Town Action News Report. And I'm going to help solve the mystery. You? What about me? How can you help solve the mystery if I'm helping to solve it? Guys, no one's going to solve any mystery if we don't catch that mail truck. But you can both help by moving your sausage mobile. Whoops! Sorry! <laughs> I don't see the mail truck anymore. Looks like we lost it. <laughs> Maybe not. It just picked up mail to be delivered. So it must be headed to the post office. Exactly. Come on, team. To the post office. Oh, yes. The driver of the mail truck you're looking for dropped off her mail bag a little while ago. It's probably in our mail sorting department. Follow me. Thanks, Mr. Postmaster. Yikes. How will we ever find one little envelope in this big place? Can you tell me anything about the envelope you're looking for? Well, it's addressed to someone who lives in the town of Workville. Does that help? Sure does. Your envelope should be in the Workville mailbag by now. Ah, here it is. All the mail that's going to Workville is in this mailbag. That's still a lot of envelopes, and they all look alike, too. Wait, Mr. Frumble's envelope looks different. Remember? He decorated it. That's right. Bright yellow with pink and purple polka dots. Aha! Uh -huh. That shouldn't be hard to find. <laughs> Way to go, Loli. You got it. Oh, no. It's another flower stamp. <sighs> then Mr. Frumble didn't put the butterfly stamp on the birthday card envelope after all. Sorry, everyone. It looks like I guessed wrong, huh? That's okay, Huckle. It was a good idea. But if my butterfly stamp isn't on this envelope, where could it be? Good question, Mr. Frumble. Let's go back to your house and give your desk another look. Maybe we missed something. 
Now what? We've already checked everywhere for the butterfly stamp. I smell crackers. Me too. Yeah? Well, I smelled them first. Did not. Did too. Would you both like some crackers? Yes, please. Hmm. Pig won't. <laughs> you look like a letter ready to be mailed with those stamps stuck to you. <laughs> well, stamps are sticky, Loli, because they have glue on them. Hey, that gives me an idea. Maybe the butterfly stamp stuck to something on Mr. Frumble's desk. Hey, yeah. We checked under the things, not on them. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Still no butterfly stamp. Hmm. It's not on this tin, either. Mm. Mr. Frumble? Mm. Could I please have some milk to wash down my cracker? Oh, oh, me too. <laughs> they are a bit dry, aren't they? Two glasses of milk coming up. Milk? Mr. Frumble, didn't you say you had milk with your crackers? Yes, that's right. Well, the cracker plate is still here. But where's the milk glass? Oh, I probably put it in the kitchen before I left for the mailbox. I always try to keep my house neat. Hmm? <laughs> Stamp! I found it! So you did! Wonderful! Wow! It is a beautiful stamp! But how did you know to look for it on the milk glass, Huckle? Yes, Huckle! How did you know? Well, Goldbug, here's how we figured it out. First, we thought Mr. Frumble had put his stamp on a letter he was mailing. So we checked the post office, but the butterfly stamp wasn't there. Then we noticed the stamps that had stuck to Pig won't, so I guessed that the butterfly stamp might have stuck to something, too. We checked everything on Mr. Frumble's desk, but there was no stamp. Then I noticed the milk glass was missing, and that was the one place we didn't look. Mystery solved, thanks to Huckle. Everybody all together solved a mystery. My busy town buds. Yay! There you have it, folks. Another mystery solved by Huckle and his team. This is Goldbug signing off. <laughs> of course, this mystery would never have been solved without me. You? I gave Huckle the sticky stamp idea. But I gave him the missing milk glass idea. Yeah, but my idea helped the most. Nope. Here we go again.